Hi and welcome to Aussie Kicks. On today's show we finally get round to finishing up the Vajra build. Yes I know it was a long time ago and I've just left this hanging and I haven't finished off the video with the electronics and the body painting and the stickers. Well I have now so before before I waffle on more and more and more, I'm just going to cut straight to it. So enjoy the final video for the Vedra. Enjoy! Now we've built the chassis, we need to put the electronics in it. The electronics I'm going to put in this car basically is a 32kg uh, Banggood special servo. The reason I put this in, it's quite low cost, it's quite a smooth servo and having these big wheels means it needs a bit more power to control them and the amount of forces being placed on the servo. Not that I'm going to be doing heavy bashing in this car at all, but I had two of them uh, for an upcoming servo test. I bought a few duplicates because I knew I'd be needing them for other cars. And uh, so that's going in. Next is the um, the uh, Quick Run 1060. Uh, that's pretty low cost, perfectly acceptable for a car like this running a brushed motor. Um, again, it wasn't very expensive at all, and I really like the Hobby Wing ones, the quality is quite good. And then for my receiver, I'm running my classic Core RC FHSS uh, little tiny units. These are quite old now and getting quite difficult to find. I like them because I run stick. I also do um, joystick, but um, I run stick predominantly. Um, so I pick up these when, as and when I can. Um, I've got a few left, but I'm running out now, so I need to keep an eye out for some new ones. So that's basically the electronics I'm going to put in. The motor that's in it came in the box, and that was, I forget what it's called now, it's the uh, losing screws. It's the GT tuned motor from Tamiya. Good enough for what I want. So right, let's get the electronics in it and then we can move on to the body because I need to get this car finished today if possible because I've got a few chores I need to do around the house tomorrow. So this shouldn't take too long and it's not that difficult. So first we'll put in the uh, steering servo first. As we're running a massive truck body on this Avanti chassis, space is not an issue at all. You still have to run the 540 can because anything larger will hit the chassis and interfere. But as for the electronics, you've got tons of space on the top deck, so you can use pretty much anything you like. I would definitely think about using a reasonably strong servo for the steering on this buggy because the front wheels are so large, they're going to be taking a bit of abuse and also you having to turn so much tyre as you're under load. So I would definitely upgrade the steering servo. Make sure you set your endpoints on this truggy, buggy, whatever you want to call it. It's obviously very high so the steering angle that you need is very small. If you set it to a full turn on the steering you'll flip the buggy no problems. Shall we see if it works? Right, just let that initialize. Plug these in. Turn that on. We're good, need to sort the steering out. Steering is a bit of a mess, should be more like that. And then set the limits obviously. I want quite gentle limits on this uh, truck, otherwise the truck will be all over the show. So that's the car alive, needs a little bit of tweaking, one's nice and smooth, it's actually very quiet, so steering needs to be adjusted but the electronics are in, pretty straightforward, um, I need to trim that down a little bit, 
So there you go, electronics are in. How's it sitting? Yeah, suspension's a bit better, now it's got a bit of weight in it, because that's actually its travelling weight. Yeah, so there we go. Right, we move on to painting the body. So next is to cut out this and get painting. So let's crack on. Don't forget to wash your body before you cut it out because you want to remove all the fixing agent as it could react with the paint. Sorry I forgot to do that on camera. Take your time, there's no secret to cutting out a body. Well, apart from drinking a good cup of tea that is. All you gotta do is go slow. You can cut more off but you can't put it back on again. As this body was designed to be on multiple cars, the front arches, there's two different types of front arch on this body. So look at the lines. There's a smaller wheel arch and then there's a massive long one. On the Vajra it uses the long front um, wheel arch, so you have to trim that. The small arch would look better, but it will not clear the wheels. I tried that first and then I had to go back and trim to the larger section. Basically the wheels are so large on the front and when the suspension's under load, it just clips the body all the time. When I'm cutting straight sections along the bottom of the body, I tend to use long straight scissors. Now the tip that I have is don't look at the cutting section, look at the end of the blades. Line up the end of the blades, then you're definitely going to be cutting true. So that's a basic cut out. Now I need to sand all the edges. But first, another bit of tea. Pretty easy, nothing super special about that. So I finished cutting out the body, sanded everything down, drilled the post holes and cut out the spoiler. Nothing super special about that. The arches are so large that getting in there with a pair of uh, uh, curved scissors is really easy. Also sanding them down is really easy because they're not super tight curves. Um, I made one mistake uh, when I was drilling these holes. These posts are metal and they're really, really big. So I did small uh, holes first and then I went to the correct size. Normally when I'm doing posts, they're not this thick, so that's fine. What I didn't do this time is my pilot hole was too small to jump to the full size hole. I should have done a slightly bigger pilot hole because what happened was on my first one, the drill bit jumped out of the little uh, pilot hole because the pilot hole wasn't big enough and I scratched the top of the body. But luckily there's a, a Tamiya sticker that goes over the top of that so you wouldn't see it anyway. So I'm happy about that otherwise I just have to polish it out somehow. So all that's left now to do is start prepping up the body and painting it. Now it says in the manual that you're supposed to spray it PS5, which I have, but it then says to mask the windows out and then smoke the windows with PS31. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the PS5 over the car. I'm gonna leave the windows see-through. There's actually um, window edges in the stickers they're in blue so uh, it should still look fine from that point of view you might actually be able to get a driver in here it's so large so that would be quite cool um, another thing that I'm going to do is it basically says to blow the whole lot black but there's this um, section at the back that's got like a bulkhead and I'm actually going to mask that out and spray that silver just to lift it a little bit more I don't think there's a sticker for it no, so uh, it would normally be black, but I'm gonna do it silver, just to give it a little bit more detail. Apart from that, I'm pretty much ready to go. So next, it's the masking up process. Now it's been a long time since I painted this body and I can't remember whether I didn't have the window decals for this body or whether I found them later on after I'd actually painted the body. The technique you see me using now is you just get masking tape and you apply it on the outside of the window, then you go round the edge with a biro, remove it, cut it out and then place it on the inside of the car as a window decal. 
Now this is not that difficult and easy to do. Obviously if you've got the window decals uh, from Tamiya this makes life easier but this is a great little technique to do if you don't. As you can see by now I'd realised that I needed to have the large front wheel arches open to clear the big front wheels. As you can see they are huge, it's almost cutting the whole front wing section out completely but this is the design that Tamiya came up with. Now I'm just fettling the sticker that I made just to make sure it's as close to the edge of the window as possible to keep it as clean as I can. This kit comes with window surround stickers to help hide some of your slight imperfections, so that's a good thing. So there you go, it's all masked up. I masked up the windows and also I masked out this to be a back window as well. And the metal cross section has been masked out and will be sprayed silver. Uh, afterwards that's pretty much it so next is just to spray it black all right I'll be right back as soon as I sprayed it black I need to get my black out so there's the black painted next I've got to spray the silver and uh, remove all the masks and then the painting's done so right silver Silver. Hmm. We'll add more silver than that. Hmm. Okay, I'll. I'm sure I had another silver. Anyway, I'll crack on, get that sprayed, and then I'll be right back. So I've now painted in the silver, so the um, back support bar, or whatever you want to call it, is silver, just to add a bit more detail. Then I backed it in black again, so you can't tell. Um, I'm just spraying up the spoiler. Unfortunately, I uh, ran out of silver, so I barely had enough to do that little bit. So I'm gonna do, the rear spoiler has got a chrome sticker. So I'm backing it in red to match the, uh, the stickers. So from the back, you will see it red. From the top, it will be silver. And that's just drying right now. So let's pick out the window masks. I also left the rear window of the cab clear so you can look through it. There's a like bulkhead section in the middle of the glass so you've got a mask around that. But it came out pretty good, so I was happy with it. So the truck is now fully painted and I've attached the rear spoiler which I actually did in red just to give it a bit of a highlight because it's going to match the red stickers so that and I'll run out of silver <laughs> the um, the bar came up all right it can't really complain about that it's good enough for what I want um, I might get some smoke and smoke out the windows. We'll see. Not sure yet. So next, the next thing to do is to cut out the stickers, put the stickers on, give it a good clean, and then we're done. So first things first, let's cut out this one. Whoever designed these stickers and didn't have them pre-cut out was a complete muppet. These stickers are a nightmare. I mean lightning, seriously, cutting out lightning. Do you know how difficult it is to cut out lightning? Uh, well, it takes hours and hours and because you've painted the car black, 
the plastic that you don't trim off right to the color shows up just as much as the actual color does. So what I found was that the body just looked tatty and horrible with all the lightning on it. I put it all on just to get it to the end so I could show it as box art. But later on I went back and removed all the lightning completely and just left the red sections. It just didn't work for me at all and I completely wasn't happy with the finish and I'm not going to spend hours and hours and hours trying to cut to every single lightning bolt. It just wasn't worth it for me. I was really happy with the way that the red came out on the rear spoiler. It just gave you that little bit of a lift and attention to detail section. So I can highly recommend just blowing in the rear spoiler red. Right, that's pretty much every sticker. It's taken five billion hours to get there. So uh, I just need to wipe all my grotty fingerprints off it and clean up this mess and I'll be right back. There you go, that's the build of the Vedra. What did I think? Uh, car's bonkers, absolutely bonkers. But I like it, it's kind of quirky. Um, I did it box art. Well, stickers are awful. I mean, really awful. Um, anybody who thought it was a good idea to put lightning on a car that you had to cut out. Also, being that it was black, it shows up every single over edge of a uh, sticker. So it doesn't work at all. Um, the car actually looked better in just plain black with maybe the windows, um, the window surrounds in blue and then just the silver parts. But um, it just looks a mess. It just looks messy. So I'm not, not happy with it at all, but I have another body and I have some other stickers as well that came with it. So I will do another body, but I do have a lot of box art kits, but if you're building one of these and you're not bothered about keeping it box art, I would probably go with the blue window surrounds, maybe the silver parts and trim off the lightning. Um, the red uh, jagged parts are pretty good. If you shaved off and remove these parts, these are the bits that look pretty rubbish. Then I think you would uh, be more wise. And I may do that myself, even though I, they just look rubbish. So thinking about it, I may trim them off. Um, I just think it'd look just nicer. Anyway, there you go. I will do a driving video of this. I actually have some uh, spare wheels coming that I will use to do a driving video and I'll keep these ones mint Whew, it's been a long couple of days um so there we go please like and subscribe and i will see you on the next one the fadra if stickers are awful body's lovely stickers are awful <laughs> thanks very much bye bye <laughs>